Okay. The next day. I did a little experimenting last night. And I ended up liking the darker Uni Posca pen better than the lighter Uni Posca pen. They're two different looks. This one I felt just uh, could stand up to the drama of the blue and purple a little bit better. This is a little more understated and quiet and maybe I just wasn't in the mood for that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on uh, coloring in with the darker. Um, well, of course, now I can't find it. I guess this is it. The darker purple, I mean the darker gray Uni Posca PC1M bullet shaped 0.7 millimeter. Shake it up. All right. We shall continue. Oh, I gotta go close the door. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. And everybody's working from home these days. And these where I'm trying to color over what I've already done. I have to be pretty careful and go back over what I've already done probably a couple times just to make sure I cover all of it, all the lighter gray without blocking out more of the color than I would have had I not done it already with a different color. Just a little bit more tedious. But I guess with a lot of my art you can tell I don't really mind tedious necessarily. And I'll try to get as far as I can in the next 45 minutes. But then I have to probably cut off pretty abruptly. Um, let's see. This, these videos are actually kind of a good idea for me to figure out how long things actually take. generally just forget to check a clock or if I do check the clock at the beginning I don't check it at the end so when people ask me how long things take I have no answer There's Pippa. I have Do Not Disturb on my phone. I don't have it on the dogs. Usually when I'm working, I have, uh, I'm listening to, usually I'll do a book on tape. Sometimes I'll watch TV, but 
and I usually miss um, important bits and have to rewind and go back. So, books on tape from the Austin Public Library, which they're not called that anymore, I guess. Audiobooks and um, podcasts sometimes. But silence is also nice. Yeah, I like that a lot better than the light gray. What is all this stuff? Some of y'all might have seen my studio in real life in past um, studio tours, perhaps. You'll know. But for those who don't, I'll tell you, my studio is in what's essentially a butler's pantry. It's between the kitchen and the dining room. So it's essentially right in the middle of my house and in the middle of everything that is going on here. So it's not a quiet retreat, unfortunately. So if I am doing these videos and demos, um, there's generally some sort of commotion in the middle that I have to respond to. So if that happens, I try to edit it out if I can. But there's always dogs barking or kid asking a question. Or my husband on a business call. I mean, it has its drawbacks, but it's also really nice because I can get to this whenever I like. And I'm a pretty massive night owl, so I can work on my paintings or whatever until very late at night and not have to worry about them getting in a car and driving home. And I can just essentially work until I drop. And then my bed's right there, so it's nice for me. And 
and the pandemic has made my night owl tendencies insane. It's crazy how late I stay up these days. And then morning me is always like, why did I stay up until four in the morning? But morning me is kind of, I guess, a sucker. Pay the bills for nighttime. Me. But I am lucky in that I don't have to get up early. So I can get enough sleep, usually. So this is, um, I'm not even sure you can see that. Um, a little spot of water dropped on the paint and so it made a water line. And so that would just bug me. So I'm just gonna treat it like it's a different shade of paint. Don't tell anyone. All right. These little bubbles are so fun. They make me think of like frogs. Frog spawn. I used to live on East 34th Street when I was little, little, and there was a sort of a creek there. I forget what they call it now, but they've made it into an actual tiny little pocket park. But when I was living there, it was just sort of a drainage ditch. But we loved it, and I would go out there and have so much fun playing in the creek and um, catching tadpoles. And I remember seeing these jelly sacks full of frog eggs. I think the way I paint is sort of like the way I would write where I still writing. I used to write a lot. Um, and that like the laying down of the color is really just the first draft. And then I edit and I go back and edit with my outlining. Kind of refine it. Clarify my ideas. Like this. 
Well, I ran out of memory on my little, I'm using my iPod, which is basically my old iPhone to record this. Because it was old, it was full of a bunch of stuff that I had to get rid of to keep recording. So I have another couple demos this weekend. Not sure what I'm going to do. Kind of amazed by these artists who are able to think ahead enough to like have sent videos in to be like featured on the website. Time just does not work that way for me. It's either now or not now. And now is essentially. Maybe three days into the future. Unless I really concentrate and then sometimes I can think a little further ahead. But my brain just generally is now or not now. And then sometimes I make mistakes because something will be filed as a future event in my mind and it will just stay there even when it's actually happening. I remember in high school once, before I kind of knew how, how my brain worked, and my friend was having a graduation luncheon and I, I was invited and I was looking forward to going. I was excited. It was going to be at the Headliners Club, which, you know, was a big deal back then. Someone's here. And, uh, you know, it was just going to happen in the future. And then I realized at 1 o'clock that it had started at 12.30, and I had to get dressed and rush down there, and I got there right when they were coming out after it was over, and she and her family all just looked at me and swept right by me, and I felt so bad. So it was totally my fault, and I looked like I just blew them off, but I didn't. Hey, Chris. Hey. Just talking to myself. Oh, I thought you were on that. Well, I am. But it's not live. I'm just recording. So it is like me just talking to myself. dog. I think she drinks water once a day and then just all at once.
Okay, I almost got this part done. But now I need to go back and uh, fix the outlines because as much care as I take trying to not get lines too thick when I'm going back over, when I was going back over the other color, I just end up getting thicker than um, than it would be. And so these are much thinner, these are thicker, and I have to decide if I like that or if I want to go back and thicken up these other lines. But I won't know. I'm going to do that until I'm all done and stare at it for a while. So I might, once I'm done with this, stop and then come back to it this evening. Sometimes I need to let something percolate for a while before I make a decision. Plus, I need to help unload all the groceries that Chris is bringing in. Which is, you know, one of the things that happens when you have a studio in the middle of the house. Fill in all these little white gaps that I like the name that they call it um, gilders when they're putting gold leaf on things. Sometimes miss spots and have to go back and fill them in with more adhesive and gold leaf, and they call those missed spots holidays. I like that name. Although sometimes I like when they're left white, but not today. Too late. I saw how it looked too late, so this one will not have visible holidays. Okay, now one more thing. To complete it, I just kind of want to go and smooth out all these edges.
Okay, so. Hmm. We'll come back. And decide about the thicker versus thin. Actually, I kind of like it now. It brings some dimension into it. This looks closer. That looks farther away. Anyway, I'll decide. Check back in with you later.